Side to 5'9", junior Jalen Banks. Number 10 out there is six-foot sophomore Kenny Berry, and he's caught in a double team, and quickly he uh, oh. did a bad job of uh, stopping right over the timeline, and a double team from the Railer defense forces 12 seconds in an early 30-second timeout. Yeah, and I'm kind of understanding why there was 12 seconds gone on the clock, why we didn't have a 10-second call. Is it when they first grab possession, I'm assuming? I believe it's when they grab possession, but okay. I think he had just gotten over the timeline, and that's when they they called, uh, the, timeout. They called the timeout. So uh, quickly, uh, you got to believe that uh, Coach Steve Rustio knows that uh, you're not going to get many opportunities against the Railers. You certainly don't want to waste them. Uh, also in the starting lineup for Granite City is Trayvon Allen, a 6'1 sophomore and six-foot sophomore Ron Allen, so a very young Granite City team. And uh, youth against the Railers and the way their defense is playing yeah. may not serve them very may well. May not. We're hopefully, uh, and what we'd like to do is, you know, get them, get them off and not be comfortable right away from the beginning. Three on the right side. That spins in and out. That's no good from Barry. And the Railers with their first possession quickly into the front court. Gavin Block underneath bullet pass. Ed Bowlby, nice catch, swinging around. Great ball movement by the Railers. Max Cook down the line, had it stripped away by Granite City. Yeah, nice, uh, nice break by the Railers, though. Uh, got the ball up and up the floor quickly. Uh, just Max uh, couldn't hold on to it, but another a good strong move going inside. Underneath move, that's going to be no good, and uh, we're going to have a foul. It's going to be whistled on Treyon Allen. Allen with the little jump hook in the lane. It bounced off no good, and then uh, he went over the back of Gavin Block trying to get the rebound. And so uh, a minute into the contest, uh, Railers, uh, certainly their energy looks good for yeah. a, a 1 o'clock game. Well, we got it going off, and maybe that was something Coach wanted to get as uh, Grant City picks us up man-to-man. -man. Uh, he wanted to get it going early. Max brings it around to the right side. Horsham looks underneath. Nice pass underneath. The Bowlby who lays it up and in for yeah. the first two of the day. Patent at play. Coach uh, calls as a uh, back screen for Bowlby that comes underneath and is normally wide open. Again, he was and uh, was able to get the two to go down. So good start for the Railers. Uh, defensively and off offensively. And a 10 count, and really uh, the, the pressure there was Joey Olden. I mean, Joey was the only one who was in their backcourt. And, uh, again, I think the youth for Granite City is going to prove to be their downfall. Well, you said it, uh, the youth and not seeing the 1-2-2 two, two the way the Railers play it uh, may not spell, spell them very good today. Bowlby over to Horsham, back on top between the circles to Olden. Now on the left side, Bowlby in the corner. Railers swinging around the perimeter. Olden looks to make a move. He goes down the lane with a finger roll layup. It rolls off no good. Rebound down to Treyon Allen for the Warriors. Well, what we've seen twice, though, is the Railers attack. Max went to the hole once, got it stripped. Uh, this time, Joey got to the lane, missed the layup, but that's what we like to see. The Railers go into the basket. Granite City, as we're two minutes into the contest, Railers with an early 2-0 lead. Thank you for joining us here on the day after Christmas from Collinsville. Underneath, Treyon Allen. Throws it back, mishandled, but caught by Ron Allen. Yeah, now really, over to Jennings. Really struggling to find a shot, Jeff. They're uh, just moving the ball around and, and not really. They, they've got a railer or two on them at every time they catch the basketball. And, and, you know, we've seen this railer defense throughout this year. The railers aren't putting extraordinary pressure on as a steal comes from Gavin Block. Gavin down the lane. His layup is a little too hard. Railers miss another opportunity. Yeah, great steal uh, by Gavin, but can't convert on another layup. So the railers have gotten to the hole three times now, two missed layups and one strip away. So uh, we're getting there. Uh, we just got to find a way to convert them. Underneath, they try and dump it down, and they're looking for a little bit of help, and the officials say it was last tip by the Railers. 5.21 to go here in our first quarter. It is Lincoln on top, 2-0. Granite City with the inbound on the baseline. They get it out to Ron Allen. Dump it back down to Treyon. Allen likes to make a move over Gavin, but Bulby's there to help with the double team, and they kick it back out. Yeah, nice to have Gavin down there and Bulby with uh, two big uh, kids at 6'4", 6'5", plus some long arms. Uh, it's hard to shoot over them in the post. They try to get it inside, but it's tipped away by Olden. Couldn't get it to the free throw line. Now the Railers run it ahead. Max steps into a three. It's on the way. It's up off the front of the rim. No good. Bulby with a strong rebound. Kicks back out to Gavin. Yeah. Railers will reset. Gavin will try a three. That's on the way. That will not get the roll. And we've always talked about it when we come down here, Josh. From where we broadcast from in the balcony position, the basket that the Railers are going to now, this near side, very, very loose, and you can probably hear it rattle in every shot. Yeah, and, and uh, the Railers got uh, two good looks again. 
uh, one by Gavin and one by Max, and, and unable to get them to fall. So cold shooting, really, for both teams. If Granite City hasn't scored yet, but uh, I do like I do like the start for the Railers. Looks like we're trying to push the ball a little bit more and make some things happen, maybe for some easier baskets. Daring Flemings into the contest, as is Dominique Clark for Granite City. Railers have yet to substitute here early in game one for the Railers of hopefully four from the Collinsville Holiday Classic. Right wing for Granite City. They move it now to Clark. Clark watched by Olden on the right side to Allen. They dump it down again over Bowlby. Try to slip it through, and a pass is going to go out of bounds, and they're going to say last touch by the Railers. Not sure about that one, but again, uh, you talked about it, Josh. Uh, Granite City, with the Railers not putting any more unusual pressure than you would normally see, um, they're having a hard time down there. Yeah, three turnovers so far for Granite City. They just haven't been able to get it going. Another turnover. Block ahead to Joey. Off the glass and good. Yeah, fourth turnover by Granite City now, and uh, it, it's going to keep going. If, they, they're, if they're not a little more aggressive to the basket, the Railers just continue to put that pressure farther and farther more toward half court, and, uh, and it's starting to extend now. Halfway through our first quarter, Lincoln four, Granite City nothing. Rebound three is no good. Max Cook with the rebound on the weak side. Max into the front court now with the dribble over to Gavin Block. Back to Cook between the circles. Miss Bowlby looked like he was wide open underneath. Gavin was just a second too late. Horsham hands to Olden. Now back to Cook. Max lane opens up, kicks it out to Horsham. Three short, on the way, short, short. left it short. But Cook grabs the rebound for the Railers. Back to block underneath a bullet pass again. This time Bowlby off the glass end, good again. Yeah, good offensive rebound again by the Railers. Max Cook staying around. Our shots, have you seen, Jeff, has all been short, and that can uh, be a, a number of different things. Uh, too much to eat yesterday at Christmas <laughs> and uh, the early start today, but uh, the defense and the passing again, uh, spot on for the Railers so far. Timeout taken by Granite City. It is a full timeout, but we will keep it here. 321 to go in our WLCNonline.com. First sub of the day for the Railers as Tyler Horsham takes a seat. Peyton Ebelair, the six foot junior, back in the contest now. And they're having some difficulty getting it out of the backcourt. You got to watch for another 10 count here. Oh, they just do beat the 10 count. Yeah, Peyton comes back in and uh, that brings even more speed to that Railer defense. And he's, uh, he's very good on the wing on defense. And then that uh, ball was uh, dribbled off the foot of 5'8 sophomore Willie Beckwith, uh, really trying to do a little too much with it and uh, trying to find an opening in that Railer defense, but just dribble it out of bounds right in front of the Railer bench. 3.03 to go, Block, Cook, Olden, Ebelair, and Bowlby on the floor for the Railers. Again, this is a Granite City team. Here comes the lob. Cook, catch, Bowlby, score. Yeah, that uh, play usually works, Jeff. And, and if they're going to continue to play man, I'll, I think a lot of our plays, uh, we're going to get them with a few lobs and a few of our normal plays, and then the back doors are going to come right after that. 2.40 to go. Railer is out to an early 8-0 advantage. Ebelair almost that. knocked away. Joey knocked it away. Gavin's coming out with it. Yeah, defense is, if you're bringing it on the ground, uh, the guys are really uh, really doing a good job of scrapping at it. Bowlby down the lane, kicks it out. Swinging around. Sure. Olden 3 off the right side. No good. Gavin comes in for the board. Gavin in the lane, looks nice. to make a move, nice. little jump hook, that won't go down, rebound to Granite City. That's all right though, a good move, a nice post up and spin middle with a little half hook and Gavin, uh, that was a, a good shot. Eight nothing, the Railer lead. So we said they're averaging uh, defensively just 32.9 points per game and uh, uh, the way this first quarter is going with two minutes to go and Granite City yet get on the board, uh, that average not going to be hurt uh, here as Cook tips it away right into the hands of Coach Alexander. Adam Conrad again, and now they get a little bigger. Yeah, the, and now you can even go to the post even more with Big Conradie. They don't have a guy even close to as big as Conradie at 6'7", 240, and you'd love to see him against a man. Just throw it down to the big boy and let him go to work. Banks looking to inbound for Granite City. Gets it out near the timeline to Tony Jennings. Jennings working against Olden, now runs across Ebelair. Inside, Terry Von Allen looks to make a move against Gavin, got underneath, and we are going to have Travel. a traveling called. So, uh, boy, it's it's one of those nothing going right so far for the Warriors. Yeah, they struggled to even get anything going and, and really even a shot. I think that's one of their few shots. I think they've attempted four shots now uh, for Granite City. Minute 35 to go. Now Block near the timeline. Now they go to zone. Man-to-man -man wasn't working, so they're going to go zone here. Trailers do a nice job swinging around the perimeter. Joey's three. It's on the way. It's up and right. good. As soon Joey. as they go to zone, we hit a three. So uh, right now it uh, 
going pretty good for the Railers. Joey with five, Bowlby with six. That's the Railers scoring in this 11 Get nothing it. early nice lead. Stolen. Gavin with the steal underneath, off the glass, it'll go. Well, it just looks a whole lot different, you know, just a different team. I know we're not complaining that being 6-0, uh, and oh, but it, uh, they're faster, they're quicker, we're moving the ball, we're pushing the basketball, and our defense, uh, maybe it's just Granite City, but we look a lot quicker. Railers up 13-0, 50 seconds to go. Travel. In the lane, little hop step, and another walk is called. And, you know, not to say that that's what's going to happen with this game, but when you're looking at possibly playing four games over three days, any rest, any break that you can get for the folks that normally get a lot of minutes, and this game almost looks like it's shaping into one of those. Right, yeah, you can get rest, uh, get some guys in, but uh, Coach, ooh, Conrad here. Underneath, getting a screen. Evil Air's three. He hits from the corner. Yeah, nice screen by Conrad. That's a nice guy to have on your side if you're a shooter <laughs> when the defender's trying <laughs> to get around that body. 28 seconds to go first quarter. Railers up 16-0, and a foul is going to be whistled on the Railers. That'll be their first of the day. Yeah, really uh, really good defense for the Railers so far, at playing that aggressive and have yet to commit a foul. Just the first one, that one's on Max Cook. But uh, the Railer defense so far has moved and, and is moving quickly. Banks looks to inbound, stolen away. Nice job by Max as he tipped it away, and the Railers with 20 seconds to go have a chance to extend the lead. They're up 16 here early on. Well, I love the love the uh, transition that the Railers are doing just to try and maybe catch Granite City off balance a little bit to push the basketball uh, a lot more enjoyable even to watch. Down to seven, down to six. Cook to Gavin, slips it underneath. Adam couldn't hang on to it. They flip it out quickly. Ebel Air, three on the short. way, left it short. And that'll be the way our first quarter we're in. A very good first quarter for the Railers. At the end of one, it is Lincoln 16, Granite City nothing. Back in a minute. You're listening to Lincoln Railer Basketball. I don't know that I've ever seen that before. <laughs> and, uh, you know, that's the great thing, Josh, about coming down to Collinsville. You're always going to see things you don't expect to see. And just as we came back from the quarter break, uh, the coach was yelling, you guys sit down. He did not get enough in in that minute and 30 stretch. So he <laughs> immediately called a timeout after the uh, break between quarters. So. So in the first quarter and before the second quarter has started, he has used three of his timeouts. And it, wow. And he's fiery. If you <laughs> watch him on the side, you're going to hear him. Uh, because one, because the gym's not exactly packed by any means, but he is a fiery guy, uh, Mr. Rustio. So now with the second quarter of action underway, Railers up 16 nothing. Yeah, looks like Granite City's going back to man now. Will Cook in the lineup for the Railers, replacing Joey Olden. Railers swinging around, goes through Max's hands, but he's able to track it down before it crosses the timeline. Gavin, top of the key over to Conradi. Now to Cook. That's Max. Gavin with the fake. Gets it over. Swing it around. Will, he fires a three. That's no good. Gavin tries to get the rebound, but Cook comes in and takes the tip away, and he comes back with it. Railers will reset. That's Max, top That's of the key. That's got to be good. Yep. Yeah, right at the top of the key. A great swing. Uh, by the Railers and another offensive rebound. Gavin kept it alive and then Matt, uh, Will Cook comes in for another offensive rebound. So along with the transition and the offensive rebound, the Railers just getting more and more opportunities. 19-0 lead for the Railers. Max, as Josh said, I think there might even be a little spot on every floor that we play right at the top of the key that Max knows exactly where right. it's at because whether it's just in a set offense or in transition, as uh, Granite City gets called for traveling, uh, but like we said, whether it's in transition, secondary break, or just run of the play, if Max is hitting from there, it's going to be a good night. Tenth turnover and no points for Granite City, so a bad start to the Collinsville Holiday Classic for, uh, for them. Gavin's three rolls off the back of the rim, no good. Tracked down by the Warriors. Jalen Banks, the 5'9 junior, and I, and I got to believe he's almost the senior guy out there. And uh, while that youth, that's uh, just not a good combination. Nice move inside off the glass, missed it. Max Cook the rebound for the Railers, and the Railers look to advance again. Up to Conrad, he will kick it back to Ebelair. Cook holds at the top of the key, now to Ebelair. Will Cook down the lane, over to Conrad. Go down and post up. Adam. Gavin goes baseline, kicks it up to a wide open. Max Cook, four, three, yes. Yeah, nice kick out to Gavin. Drives baseline and, and a crowd comes to stop, try and stop him and they swing it over to the baseline and then swing it up to Max and uh, if he can get on fire, man, that would be a huge 
pickup for the Raiders. There he goes with a nice tip There's away. Steel. Max behind the back, and oh, that's not going to make the bench happy as Max was uh, going down the right side, was going to uh, kick it over to his brother, Will. Yeah, not going to make the bench happy. He's not going to make his brother happy because <laughs> he had two points coming. <laughs> went behind the back and uh, went out of bounds, so a turnover by the Railers. Uh, one of the few things that has uh, not gone right for Lincoln here on this uh, yeah. this afternoon. He's going to hear about that from the old family when he gets <laughs> ho or gets back to the hotel. <laughs> Get it, Joey. Tipped away again. Ball loose. Railers there. Bowlby. And it kicks out. Olden into the front court. Bowlby will fire a three. Off the back of the room, no good. Here comes Conrad. He plowing through, trying to get the rebound. Ball loose. Will Cook down there. Everybody down there. Conrad. <laughs> I don't think I'd want to be if Adams down there diving for it. Yeah, and he just mauled somebody, too, and got <laughs> called for the foul. Adam picks up his first, second on the team. Yeah, I think it would have been a jump ball, but Adam uh, thought he they needed some more weight on that pile, and he went in and... Uh, well, clobbered one of them. And, and as winded as Will is looking, I think he may have caught Will <laughs> a little bit too. 5.20 to go in the first half. Lincoln still with a shutout here on the first day of Collinsville. Allen looks to make a move. A little jump hook. Won't go down. Bowlby the rebound. Joey up the sideline. Yeah, nothing going on the offense, and then they can't get an offensive rebound either. The Railers doing a good job uh, on both ends on the boards. Tyler holds between the circles. Now gets it over on the right wing to Will Cook. The junior kicks it down to Olden. I bet Adam's got at least 40 pounds on the guy that's guarding him. I love to see him just cut and stop right on the block and uh, have him throw it in right into him. Conradi on the baseline. Kicks it back out now to Will. 4.40 to go. In the first half, Railers on top, 22-0. Bowlby with a spin at the top of the key. Hands to Horsham, kicks it back out. Will Cook will fire a three, and he will connect. Yeah, Will's, Will's had some good looks in the in the first few games of the year and just not been able to knock him down. And there he, another good job of the Railers penetrating into the middle and kicking it out, and Will got to step right into that one. Last four field goals from the Railers have come from behind the arc. That's helped them extend to a 25-0 lead. Well, everything was layups and, uh, and jump shots really in the first quarter, and then now the threes are starting to fall. Halfway through, three on the way. That's up, spins off, no good. Rebound for Granite City. They go up reverse layup. That's no good. Ball tipped up by Bowlby over to Joey, and they're going to say Joey was standing on the baseline when he got that from Bowlby, so the turnover will send it back to the Warriors. And that being the, just the third turnover for the Railers, so a good job of handling the ball. Uh, Granite City's pressure is not great as Max Cook looks to check... Uh, check back in he's coming in for Tyler Horsham but the Railers have done a good job uh, I, I love the pace of the game right now for the Railers really uh, you know pushing the basketball and on, and on the defense uh, extremely quick and a hole is going to be called I think on Bowlby as he tried to keep the pass from getting in to Trayon Allen that'll be Bowlby's first it'll be the third on the Railers and you know Josh another thing we look at Granite City's only been whistled for one foul <laughs> their aggressive play just isn't there I mean this it just looks like they're playing the number one seed, and the number one seed is playing just like that. Right, yeah, and it, it may get worse before it gets better unless they can get a few baskets to uh, to go down. Double team, they work out of it. Now over on the right side, dump it down low again for Allen. Allen kicks it back out. Three on the way, that's up. No good from Banks. Tipped around, ball loose. Kicking it back out to Ron Allen. Ron Allen, top of the key, hounded by Olden. Little floater off the glass. That one won't go down. And Max Cook with the rebound for the Railers. And the Railers up 25, still looking to push the ball. Cook over to Bowlby. Now to Olden on the right side. Joey with the spin. Heads down the lane. Conrad will try from 17. Won't go down. Rebound coming down to number 10 for the Warriors. That is Kenny Berry. Yeah, good shot. A lot of people probably in the crowd are saying, you know, what? what's that big kid doing out on the perimeter? But he can make those 15-footers. And... Uh, Adam uh, picked up a foul there on a rebound, but Adam, uh, he can hit those, and uh, as Gavin, I think, is going to check back into him, as Adam uh, probably ex as extended as minutes as we've seen him play, uh, running the floor, and he's a little winded. I, and I think that's something that the maybe the folks don't realize is that Conrad, as big as he is, yeah, you would think that he could play well on the post, but he can go outside, right. and that makes him doubly dangerous when good. he's out there. And he's a good athlete. He jumps well and uh, uses that size. Air ball shot up from Granite City. Gavin with the rebound ahead quickly to Olden. Block, Cook, three, top key. You know it. 
But see, the transition, you, 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 you got Granite City has to get everybody close to the basket or we're going to go to the hole, and then you swing, a, swing it quickly up to the top, and there's Max loving his favorite shot as a walk-up three. That's, that's really what we saw a lot of last year is uh, the transition and then uh, Max walking up to a three, and we just didn't push the ball as much earlier. Now, now their turnover ahead, Olden to Gavin, who misses the layup. Yeah, I think Gavin's got to make those layups. He's 6'5 and can jump with a long reach, and in a game that, you know, not today probably, but Saturday, uh, we can't afford to miss those. Granite City with 2.15 to go, still looking for their first points here in the second quarter, and it's another steal from Gavin Blocky. He comes from the backside and tips it away. Horsham will try and jump in the scoring column. He misses a three. Ball's rebounded by Trayvon Allen. Two minutes left here in the first half, and Josh uh, up, tipped away again. Horsham comes out with it. It's 13th year of doing Railer games. I've seen a number of shutout quarters. I've never seen a shutout half as Cook dumps it down to Bowlby, who lays it up and in. He has eight. 30 to nothing. Uh, a lot of times they're 30-point leads, but generally the other team's got a few points uh, in that lead. But uh, the, the defense is, is good, and they're, they're – uh, wow. Leach and uh, foul called on the Railers. And they're, they're just young and, and not very experienced, and, and the Railers are taking full advantage of it right now. Austin Cruz checking in for Edward Bowlby. Cruiser, the 6-2 senior. Yeah, looks like Will Cook's going to check back in for uh, Joey Olden, who's I don't know how many steals he's got. We'll know more at half when we uh, get into the stats, but uh, a ton of steals for, uh, for Joey and those top three guys especially. Minute 38 left here in our first half along with Josh Kominick. Jeff Benjamin with you here in Collinsville. Railers uh, certainly playing like the number one seed up 30 to nothing. Shot is up no good. They get it down to Allen who throws it off the glass. Thought that would go down. It didn't. Barry tries to throw it up and in, and he's going to be fouled, and I believe he's going to go to the line shooting two. And you hate to say it, but this may be Granite City's best chance to score in the half. Man, and it, it's on the floor. Oh. oh nice. Well, that's a, I was going to say, man, you're pitching a shutout for a first half. You'd hate to lose that by a free throw. 121 to go. Inbound to Dominique Clark. Travel. Swinging around right side to Barry. There comes Allen again down the lane. That shot's blocked away by Gavin. On top, Clark down the lane, and he's tripped by Will Clark. And now they're going to get to the bonus. Yep, Clark going to the line. Will picks up his first. So what would be worse defensively, giving up nothing or one and a half? <laughs> <laughs> well, both. <laughs> I don't want to give up anything, so I'm saying uh, a zero. 101 to go in our second quarter. Granite City looking for their first points of the day. Dominique Clark, the 5'7 junior, free throw on the way is good. And that's the biggest ovation of, uh, of the day, I think. Clark's second one on the way. That's up and good as well. 30 to 2. It took them until there was a minute one to go in the first half to get on the board. And now the Railers, uh, you wonder if they'll hold for one. Nope. Max for three. Spins out. Okay, Matt Will in there for battling for the offensive rebound. Did a great job of, of almost boxing his guy out. The bad thing is Granite City had two of them. 35 seconds to go. Down the lane. Little wild scoop shot. Ball tipped around, tipped off of the Railers. It'll stay with Granite City. You know, I think you get in a game like this, too, with so many games coming up, you don't want to get into bad habits. Uh, you know, doing things that you won't normally do if we're, if we're fortunate enough to play on Saturday at 2.30 um, or, you know, fortunate enough to play at 8 o'clock on, on a Saturday night. You don't want to do some, do some bad things, that uh, bad habits that will get you into doing something bad when you get into a, a game that's going to mean a lot. Another turnover by Granite City, a steal from Austin Cruz. And with 15 seconds to go in the first half, you know, Josh, it's also a case of you also don't want to show too much. Right. So you don't want to show a lot of plays. You run a lot more motion and see, but uh, the transition has been, uh, has been big, I think. Max to Horsham, fires a three. That's off the back of the rim, no good. Ball is tipped out of bounds, and with 1.4 to go, the Railers will be inbounding on the baseline. Yeah, something quick, a little quick tip with 1.4 here. It's got to be a quick shot or a, 
A nice tip. Looks like it's probably going to be a back door for Will Cook here. Going, oh. Max looking, looking. Underneath, Cruz throws it up. Won't go down. And that is our score at the half. At the end of the first half, it is Lincoln 30, Granite City 2. We'll be back with our halftime in just a moment. We'll be back in two minutes. You're listening to Lincoln Railer Basketball.